In this video, I will show you how to debug the RED5 code. This will allow you to step through the RED5 code, and then you can see how it works. So the first thing to do is to create a debug configuration. So click on this arrow next to this icon, click on Debug Configurations, then click on the Source tab, then click on the Add button, then click on Java Project and click OK and then we want to select the red5 underscore server project that's the project with our red5 distributions then click OK then click apply and then click debug and now it says installer service created uh, red5 is running and then we can press this red stop button to stop red5 So now we want to set a breakpoint. So click on Control Shift R and then type in bootstrap and select this bootstrap.java and click open. Now this bootstrap.java is has the main function and that is the first function that gets called when Red5 first starts. So if we want to put a breakpoint on that, we can double click right here and it will set a breakpoint. Now to turn on line numbering, as you can see I have line numbers, click on Window Preferences then click on editors, no, sorry, general, and then editors, and then text editors, and then check this box that says show line numbers, and then click OK, and you'll have the line numbers. By default, line numbering is turned off. Now to debug and step into this breakpoint, click on this arrow again and click on distribution R1 and now it's asking if we want to open the debug perspective so we should say yes and now this window is hidden here let me expand this and now it is showing that it has reached our breakpoint and we can use F5 to step into and F6 to step over. Now to terminate the debugging, click on run and then terminate. And to reset the layout, click on window, open perspective, and then Java and that will reset our window layout. And now we have learned how to debug the RED5 code.